Hello everyone, welcome to Pikeville History Moments, where we talk about the history and heritage of Pikeville, Kentucky and the surrounding area. Today, we'll talk about Effie Waller-Smith and how she became the first female African-American poet to be published in a national literary magazine. Looking from the top of the 99 stairs on the University of Pikeville's campus, beyond the Appalachian Wireless Arena, you can see a tiny valley called Cloy Creek. That's where Miss Effie, as she was affectionately called, was born in 1879. She was the third child born to two former slaves, Frank and Sibby Waller. Frank came to Pike County at the end of the Civil War and found success here as a businessman and a blacksmith. Sibby had been purchased and freed with her mother by a local resident prior to the war. The Wallers valued education and Effie and her older siblings studied at what is now Kentucky State University in Frankfort. With her degree in hand, Effie began teaching in Eastern Kentucky and Tennessee. One of her first teaching assignments came when she was about 18 years of age when she taught at a single room log cabin schoolhouse. The school was located on Biggs Branch near Millard, about 12 miles or so upriver from Pikeville. Although officially a segregated school, a photograph provided by local historian David Deskins by Effie's daughter seems to show a diverse student body. It is likely that the parents in the area simply sent their kids to the closest, most conveniently located school. It's certainly an important piece of local history, as Effie was teaching both African American and white students side by side in Pike County some 60 years before schools in the United States were required to integrate. Effie also began writing and publishing poems in local newspapers. With assistance from friends and wealthy patrons, she self-published her first volume of poetry at the age of 25, and the quality of writing began to catch national attention. In the following years, she published two more volumes of poetry. Several poems and short stories appeared in prominent national literary magazines such as Harper's Magazine and Putnam's Monthly. Effie's poems often spoke of her love for the simple pleasures of her Appalachian home, the mountains, the people, and the food. She wrote about the beauty she saw in the natural world within the mountains of eastern Kentucky. Many of Effie's poems referenced her visits to the present-day Brakes Interstate Park, speaking of the majestic scenery found within the natural wonder of the canyon that was forged by the Russell Fork River cutting through Pine Mountain. Effie's poems offer a rare glimpse of what the canyon was like before logging operations began clear-cutting the area a few years later. It's pretty amazing to think that Miss Effie, in her early 20s, was hiking around the Grand Canyon of the South long before established trails and roads existed, following in the footsteps of well-known historical figures such as John Fox Jr and Daniel Boone. In addition to speaking to her love for the mountains, her poems would also subtly push against issues of race and class. She wrote about standing up for herself, people like her, and showing empathy for those around her. Her later poems were at times somber. This likely could have been a result of the loss she experienced in her life. Her younger brother had passed away, she had lost a baby of her own, and her husband, Charles Smith, was shot and killed as a deputy sheriff in the line of duty. Tragically, Effie suffered all these losses by the time she was 32. Her final published poem came at the age of 38, a year after the death of her father. After her father's death, Effie's family moved to Wisconsin in answer to a religious calling. Effie promised her friend who had become ill, Polly Ratliff, that she would care for her daughter, Ruth, should Polly succumb to her illness. 
Polly passed some years later, and Effie made good on her promise. After Polly's passing, Ruth came to Wisconsin soon thereafter. Effie helped her thrive, and Ruth overcame racial discrimination to earn her degree. She became a beloved teacher at Trinity Lutheran School for over 30 years. Effie passed away in 1960, having spent her last decade living with her loving daughter, Ruth. Effie Waller-Smith was known as the singing poet of the Cumberlands. She was inducted into the Kentucky Writers Hall of Fame in 2015. We're proud she's from our hometown and thankful she loved it as much as we do. Thank you for watching Pikeville History Moments. If you're watching this on YouTube, please hit like and subscribe, or click on the link to our website at visitpikeville.com. We've included links to purchase David Deskin's History of Pike County and a link to the Nina Historical Society article on Effie Waller-Smith in the description.